What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another edition of Action Sunday. This week, I'm a bit of a palate cleanser. I'm going to be looking at this movie called The Commuter. It stars Liam Neeson. And this movie came out in 2018. Now, I did not know about this movie until my wife found it for me. So I decided, hey, let's give it a watch. We might like it. And sure enough, holy shit, this movie was incredible. I thought it was going to suck. No, it has literally on the edge of my seat. Literally, like, like no, no pun intended. Like this had all the elements of an actual thrill ride. Like, uh, um, but mixed in with like a formula that I'm familiar with before. Like, uh, how can I explain this? It's like to me, like at first glance, when I was reading the story, I was, I, I felt like, wait a minute, this feels like a classic Hitchcock film, which was called Strangers on a Train, and I feel like they took that modernized it and added a bit of an interesting wrinkle to to each of these characters so like not just the main character of Liam Neeson but to all these are interesting minor characters it's like some, one of these characters just doesn't belong and it really works and I kind of like this modern day saying of okay okay he's an ex-cop he's an insurance and, and now a turn and turn insurance agent he's coming home come home come home he meets Vera Farmaga right pronounce her name but my goodness can, if, could you say femme fatale yes you may because she did fantastic job in this movie even though her aunt, we're not her screen time is only like six minutes but she does play some kind of kind of like presence throughout this entire movie but but yeah i don't want to give too much away but you have to see this movie to believe it because yeah like i said um it does borrow elements from the classic hitchcock thriller but if you if no one's ever seen that i'd say go watch that and then you can see uh, then watch this, and then you can see, like, where the inspiration from that story came from, because to me, like, it really was a thrill ride, to, to me, like, uh, like, but here's something that kind of took me out of it a little bit, like, there was a unrealistic stunt later on in the movie that was like, okay, trains cannot do this, okay, I'm sorry, but another thing that kind of took me a little bit out of it was, um, Okay, I couldn't just think was like, okay, is Liam Neeson trying to play this new guy, Michael, or is he just still taking pieces of, of like Brian Mills and a little bit of a dark man character and just bring it to here? I don't know. No, may I'm reading too deep into it, but it's still a, it's still pretty cool, like how Liam Neeson just was able to bond and create this character, like, oh shit, what do I do? I'm on this train. I meet this very interesting uh, stranger, but now what? Like now, the, the, she's giving me this challenge. What do I do? And it's like you can see the conf con the ethical conflict between himself and everything else, and like it just goes to show, like uh, my God, it, this is the this is a perfect formula, and like like what do we like? I was literally on edge from most of this movie, and like there. But when it comes to action sequences, uh, very, I would say there's a couple of scuffles on the train, but yeah, yeah, but nothing too crazy. I feel like the last part of the story is where the action really amps up. Not not just in in dialogue, not just in the story, but in but dialogue and some and certain things. It look it plays out perfectly, and and you'll be like, holy shit, what just happened? But by the time everything just comes together, and you're like, oh my god, this is it. This is what you get. And yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. And like both my wife and I really enjoyed this. Uh, we, we thought it was going to suck. No. To me, I feel like this is a, a very hidden gem of Liam Neeson's career. So, yeah. I, what, what much more can I say? Like, uh, if, like I said... It's literally a modern day Strangers on a Train, and I think anybody who's who, who met, passed on this movie before, I think you guys should give it a watch. And maybe, like I said, I said like you'll learn something. It's like it's a great story and character, the great movie and character development, and like and like seeing like the unexpected twists and interesting wrinkles to every character, not besides William Neeson, besides Vera Farmiga, and like all these are great, all these are great, interesting cast of characters, including like Queen Florence Pugh. Yeah, she's in this as like a, I don't want to give give it away, but she plays like like a, this uh, young like uh, hipster. I can't. It's really hard to describe, but there's like, but it's really unique. It's like like I said, one of these characters just does belong. Who's 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 the target? Who's not? What's going on? That's all you got to know. And to me, like you take all that, bow it up, and you have a typical good top no line thrower, and it really works. And I, to me, I me mean, William Neeson is like good with playing these kind of characters. I mean. Forget Taken. This, I feel like, is a step above the whole Taken franchise, in my opinion, okay? 
So take it for its worth. I'd say give this movie a watch. I had now own it on DVD. It's uh, I might go back to watch it just just for a sake of it because this because the end last part of this movie kind of, kind, of, kind of makes me go okay what happens next like does he do this does he do that but yeah I'm like like you could kind of see like they're the playing seeds and probably opening up for something more maybe more maybe a sequel I don't know that I don't want to give much of the final part away but that's something. I think I'm going to leave up to you guys if you want to give this movie a watch. All right. So with that in mind, I'm going to give The Commuter a seven and a half out of ten. That's as gracious as I'm going to give for this movie. Give it a watch, folks. OK, so that does for this week. Don't let me know what you think. Don't subscribe to my channel. Stay here for some more awesome and exciting videos.